right guys welcome back in this video we are gonna learn about signals and slots and it's a concept that you already know but this time we are gonna learn how to do it using Qt designer so what is a signal and what is a slot so if you remember whenever we push a button and we have to call a function or a method we use this push button or the button name dot click dot connect and then the name of the method in this case the signal is dot clicked and the slot is show underscore date or any method that we want to call now as you can see we have coded this manually now we are going to learn how to do it using qt designer obviously you can't drag and drop the custom methods such as uh, the show underscore date which we have created ourselves but there are some inbuilt methods inside pi qt5 that we can use so for example if we go inside our main window of qt designer and let's add a simple input area of line edit which we learned in the last video or some of the video and let's expand it a little bit and what we want to do is uh, whenever we write something over here and press on the button this text should be cleared so we are also going to add a button a very simple button and let's expand this also a little bit and we are just going to write clear over here and now we're going to learn how to do this manually. So if you go up in the edit area, there should be an option of edit signals and slots. And over here also there is a signal, edit signal and slot option. So let's just click on that. And now you'll see that whenever you hover over a button or an input area, it becomes a little bit pinkish. So you can just left click with your mouse and then drag it to the area that you want to connect it to. So whenever we click on the clear button, we want the edit box to be cleared so that's why we are connecting both of them and now just release the left click of the mouse and this pop-up will come so whenever we click the button that is the push button so push button dot clicked and whenever we do that we want to call a one of the methods so this is one of the good things about uh, doing this automatically using qt designer we didn't know that line edit had all these methods that are inside it so we just need to use the clear method and uh, you can do this for all the widgets that are on the left hand side and if you don't know how any of these widgets work you can do the same thing with them you can just see what kind of uh, slots and what kind of signals they have and you can get a more better idea of how to use them so let's just click on clear and click on ok and now you see uh, there'll be this uh, clicked and clear written over there and also at the bottom right corner if you see there is a resource browser and there's a signal slot editor over here you can see that the signal is dot clicked and the slot is clear and now when you want to come out of this signal option you can just click again on this edit widgets option and you can come out of that and uh, just to kind of show you guys what you can also do is for example let's um, let's have a progress bar if we can find it so this is our simple progress bar if you want to make it workable i'm just kind of giving you an example another example of uh, slots and stuff what you can do so we can just edit this up and what we can do also is let's uh, first add another button because I don't want to disturb that area. So let's add a very simple button over here and now we can just click on the push button and drag it over here and now you can see it has all these methods that are inside that and you can work out accordingly and if you want to see more methods you can just click on this and you can see more methods over here. So this was just an example and now let's actually see. Um, how it works so i'm just gonna click over here and delete this both of these and now let's uh, actually convert it to a python file and see how the code looks like so i'm just gonna click on save go to our my PyQt, and i'm just gonna save this file as untitled i want to replace that and let me open this up and i'm just gonna open up my command prompt and we already know how to convert our files but um, yeah so let's do that and untitled.ui and the output file let's call it main underscore 2.py not very creative but it will work so now we can go back to our code and main 2py so now let's look at the code and see what it says so this is our push button this is our line edit and if we go down somewhere over here you can see that push button dot click dot connect and this was an inbuilt method this is not a custom method in main.py file we had built a custom method of show the underscore date and it's been called over here so this you can't do from Qt Designer, but some of the methods that are inbuilt, you can use dot clear and you can use these inbuilt methods and you don't have to manually do them. And now let's just run it and see if it works or not. So let's run our main underscore dot two 
And now if we type something over here and click on clear, it will automatically clear whatever is written inside our input box. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I know this was a pretty short video, but this was a very important concept to cover. And in the next video, we are going to learn something known as layout management. So there are different types of layouts like vertical layout, horizontal layouts, grid layout. So we are going to learn all about them in the next video and I'll see you over there.